All right, guys, go to Boy32 here. Check it out. We're sitting out in the Freedom Shack. This is the Freedom Review Table, I guess you could call it. I wanted to take a break from politics to kind of talk about uh, some of the things that I picked up this year. Now, this was a weird, weird year for me uh, as it relates to doing firearm reviews, pistol reviews, and things like that. I just kind of got away from doing pistol reviews. Um, Partly because we just got tied up with doing a lot of three-gun competitions. We had to do the Unknown Sniper competition, which led to the development of one of these pistols right here. This is the X5 Legion. I would have to say that that one was used, this one was used, that one was used, this one was used, that was used. Uh, this is a build that we did uh, in conjunction with the guys over there at Live Free Armory. This is a pretty neat little deal here. But what I wanted to do was just kind of give you... I don't know, some culture behind these things. Uh, not necessarily uh, doing a review on it, but talking about some of the things. Now, I have, believe it or not, I've, I was actually going to do a rev full-blown review on this. This is a Smith & Wesson. Uh, this is their M&P 22. And this little guy is actually one of the nicest little pistols to shoot. It's a lot of fun. I took it out, and uh, to be perfectly honest with you, it's like shooting something with zero recoil. A lot of fun. Now, one of the other things is that uh, I use this as a training tool to familiarize people with getting used to a firearm going off. It's pretty nice. The MP22 is a perfect stepping stone for the MP9 or the MP40 or whatever you want to go with. Um, so, this was a lot of fun to shoot, and this is one of the reasons why I bought it. I started getting into the 22 caliber stuff, and as I went into one of my favorite places down in Charlotte, North Carolina, the Point blank range in Matthews, North Carolina. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, uh, they had a bunch of these things that came in, and, and uh, you know, every time I saw it, I was like, man, I, I need to get a deal on these. All right. So uh, I think this was the first 22 that I bought. The second one was the Ruger Mark IV. This is their standard. And I will tell you this, man, what a great little pistol. This is a good one. Uh, shot this a lot. Never had any malfunctions. I was just shooting the uh, Thunderbolt through this. And had a great, I love the grip angle. Now this is the Mark IV, and I don't even know which one this is, but this is kind of like a little bit more uh, precision. But as you can see, the uh, grip angle. So I think this is, one of these is like the uh, Ruger Mark 22 or 11, 22 11 or whatever it is. Uh, but I love this pistol. Bull barrel on this thing's big, thick. It's a lot heavier. Um, trigger pull, I would have to say... A little bit better than this guy. Ah, they're close to enough, close to the same. So the next one I picked up, partly because it just looked like a, a damn space gun, was this guy right here. This is the model 22A-1. This is pretty cool in that your mag release is on the front, just like that. Very nice. Now another cool part about it is, look at this. Uh, very similar to a lot of the other uh, what are you, competition pistols out there or whatever. Uh, she's going to be a, real similar to this guy. Uh, but this is a blast to shoot. The only thing that I don't like is the slide release right there. It's a little pointed. But I will tell you, everybody's going to bust my balls about dry firing a 22. You know, okay. But the trigger pull on this guy is impeccable. And it is a blast to shoot because it literally, the zero recoil, you go ta 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 just like that. And it's a lot of fun. Rubberized grip module right there. 10-round mag, same thing, pretty neat. Now, this is, again, this is the Smith & Wesson. But look at that bad boy. Isn't that pretty? A lot of fun. Uh, I tried to put a couple of uh, red dots on this thing. This does not fit. This is not compatible. With, this is not a pick rail. All right, so um, we're going to save this guy for the last. I was over there, and I haven't even done a review on this thing. This is how busy we are. This is my M9 Beretta. Love this guy. Um, <laughs> used to do, uh, <laughs> I used to be able to take these things down in a heartbeat. Uh, well, take a mag out. There we go. And I was sitting out in the field one evening, and I let go one of these things, and I had to buy a spring and a drive rod. But this is what I carried when I was on active duty. And I know my good friend, uh, who was in the Rangers, he did not like these till Valhalla. Anyway, um, I never had a problem with it as long as you did what you were supposed to do. 
anyway. But that's before the days when they spent hours and hours and hours shooting these things. So I like this, but I wanted to get the M983, I think it is, with the pick rail. And then I was up there, and they had this guy right here. Now, I've been eyeballing this thing for a while. This is the Gerson. Uh, what do they call this thing? The Regard MC. This is a nice pistol. And I am going to do a full-blown review on this. I probably paid a little bit more than I should have. But I will tell you this. Everybody's like, is that the replacement for the uh, Taurus PT-92? And I go, yeah, it's a lot better than the Taurus. Uh, but in any case... Uh, Finger grooves on the front, pick rail on the front. Uh, the trigger pull on this guy, impeccable. Little, I would have to say, let's see here, hold on. Uh, I think this guy's a little bit heavier, but a little bit more crisp. Trigger job on this guy, and you get yourself a nice firearm. But this guy is, see, you can remove that without taking the mag out. But basically, the exact same is this guy right here so that's it right I wonder 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 who and I bet they are interchangeable maybe let's see uh, no so here's what I will say about this particular guy is it the slide this is just they are mated perfectly really really nice there's a couple things that i think i don't know what they did through engineering but if you notice that guy right there the takedown pivot pin right there on the gerson automatically resets also the big difference as well is when you pull down a safety okay it there is no trigger pull there man maybe i'm smoking my ass i don't know but Anyway, I got to get used to that gun. There's a couple differences in there. All right, so uh, the next pistols that we got. I got into doing the uh, Sniper's Unknown Challenge, and I wanted to change up from a 2011 to something along the lines of the X5, X5 Legion. Met up with the guys down there at Live Free Armory, so I decided to go ahead and build this thing right here. Now, uh, took the trigger module from the Wilson Combat, put it in here, and then a Wilson Combat P320 is an awesome pistol. I think it's more expensive than it needs to be for a P320. When you can get this guy right here for, I don't know, a lot less. Not, maybe not a lot less, but in any case, again, this is more of a culture meeting. But uh, what we have here is uh, Live Free Armory. It's got the uh, barrel from Brownells in this thing. Uh, slide rod. We got an extended uh, slide release on this guy with a gray guns trigger. Oh, that thing is sweet. And then on top of it, we're running the Hollow Sun. This is the HS507C with the ACSS Vulcan reticle in it. And on my website, I've got a link that'll bring you right over to there. And that bad boy is awesome. Now, I am running the Delta Point Pro on this one right here. Uh, bigger window. Uh, in my opinion, probably just as good or better. But it, here's the thing. When you're in a position where you're in an awkward position and you're trying to find that reticle, you've got the uh, ring that you use in the Hassan. So in any case, that's it, man. These were my pistols that I... Uh, happened upon oh wait a minute we've got this guy right here this is something that i absolutely love and when i did the initial review on it, i found that this little guy right here was missing uh midwest gunworks or whatever they call themselves uh it took about a week and a half to get here as a matter of fact this came in today i was on my phone with my guy over there at uh optics planet and i was like man check it out it came <laughs> so anyway we've got a solid gun here the trigger pull on this thing is about two and a half pounds, and it's just, I think, and I haven't shot this guy yet. I'm really looking forward to putting some rounds down range, adjustable sights, elevation, and windage, fiber optic on the front. And this guy was uh, made in the USA, but distributed in Montreal, Canada, and it made its way back here to the States. But look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Really looking forward to it. Big bull barrel resembles this guy right here. Uh, I would say that in comparison, the triggers are nowhere near the same. It's closer to the Smith & Wesson. 
Uh, but yeah, I love this thing. And I'm probably going to try to take it out this week to put some rounds down range. Now, I got an interesting week coming up. Get back out to the range. We are going to be running a JP GMR 15 with a, I think it's a five and a half inch barrel and the rest of it's a shroud. Pretty cool. Honest Outlaw did a review on it. It was sent to the channel by the good guys over there at Manning and Sons. So anyway, really looking forward to putting that thing through the test. Uh, we have the 6.5 Creedmoor from Live Free Armory that we've got to uh, put together a uh, test for. I got the takedown pins in for that the other day. And I also can't wait to test this guy. So with that being said, guys, that's it, man. This is 2020 collection. Weird year. I mean, really and truly, with uh, the weird stuff that happened the other day, um, hmm, it's very unusual that you wake up in the morning and Donald Trump is not our president anymore. Well, whatever. That's why we're taking a break. We're having a little lesson about these guys. All right, that's it, guys. Um, usually, I pick up a lot more pistols than this, but I think we were more focused on competition, uh, developing rounds, ammo, things like that. I've got a really cool deal with uh, this annealer that just came in from Mr. Todd Elsters, and we're going to be putting that to the test uh, in the next couple of days. Code Boy 32 you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Support the red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless us men, women in uniform, 24-7 for our freedom. Freedom's not free. And talking about the men and women in uniform who fought for our Constitution as it was written for our founding fathers or by our founding fathers. Y'all be good. I'm out of here.